I first grabbed two packages of these one gallon paint stir sticks from Home Depot. You do want a total of 14 stir sticks for this project. So I just aligned them right next to each other. And then using some jumbo craft sticks, I'm just using this Dollar Tree adhesive glue. It's a great substitute for E6000 with a mixture of hot glue to hold all of the paint sticks together. And the more of those jumbo craft sticks, the better. That way this sign is nice and sturdy. Then using some brown acrylic paint and some baby wipes, I just applied the brown paint on top of those paint sticks. Use that baby wipe to apply the brown paint. And this is just going to leave you with a wood stained look without using any of the harsh chemicals inside of wood stain. You then just wanna allow that to completely dry then i'm using some waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and i'm just doing a dry brush method all throughout and this is just going to leave it with a nice weathered wood look i then got these wooden sunglasses cut out from hobby lobby they were a dollar and i'm just filling in the holes at the top where the string was as the hanger with some dollar tree lightweight spackle allow that to completely dry and then once that is dry, you wanna just smooth it out with some sandpaper or a sanding block. Then going over it with Waverly chalk paints and the color plaster, just to give it a nice base coat. And then using Waverly chalk paints in the color Ocean, just painting one of those lenses in that color, let that dry. And then using the star stencil that I got off of Amazon, finding a good placement for that, taping it down to make sure it doesn't move on me, grabbing a Dollar Tree cut up sponge and just dabbing some more of that plaster chalk paint all throughout. Peel off the stencil and let that dry. And then for the other lens, if you have some skinny tape, use that so that way you have nice straight lines. And for this part, I'm using Waverly chalk paint in the color Crimson using a different Dollar Tree cut up sponge to apply that color. And then peel off that tape and let this part completely dry as well. And then just for the outer part of the sunglasses, I just painted that with some black acrylic paint and allow that to completely dry. Then just grab that paint stir stick sign, find a good placement for the sunglasses on the top, using some more of that Dollar Tree adhesive glue with hot glue to adhere that to the top of the sign. I then just made this stencil off of my Cricut machine using the font Top Gun, that is what it is called. Placed the vinyl cutout down, took off the transfer tape, and then with some more black acrylic paint and a Dollar Tree cut up sponge, sponge just began dabbing that black all throughout the stencil. And then just went ahead and peeled that vinyl right off and let that dry. And then I even added some of the Top Gun stripes to the side of Goose. And as always, if you wanna leave this sign outside or if you want to protect it from chipping or anything like that, you definitely wanna go over it with a clear seal sealer like polycrylic or polyurethane that you could get from any Home Depot store. And there you go, guys. I had so much fun creating this. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks, bye.